So the Angels of Action, you three ladies, have been nominated um, for our Citizen of the Year. Yay. Yeah, yeah that, that's... Do you want us to start crying now? I know. How do you say that? <laughs> yeah. So and what, how did that make you feel to know from starting this project, you know, just under a year ago to, to now having it be taking off and being a success and, you know, being recognized for your efforts? Shock. I think it's very humbling and very honoring too. It's not something that um, we know someone nominated us. I think, which is, goes to say that the community is definitely behind this project. But it's a very humbling thing because we didn't do it for recognition. We didn't do it for to get honored in any way. And um, it's embarrassing a little bit, as we said yesterday. But it's definitely an honor for sure. Yeah. I think one of the great things is if it brings more recognition to what we're trying to do or, you know, I guess more awareness to our group and our cause and what we're trying to do, then it's great. Mm -hmm. And we'll get our name out there even more and people will ask what we're about and want to hear about the program. Feed more children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To breakfast a lot <laughs> and that's the truth <laughs> and that's how it started we just started talking about things that we could do and um, kind of our dreams and things that we wanted to make a difference and here in the community and um, you know you can volunteer which we all do in some way shape or form for other organizations but we really truly wanted to do something that would impact the community on a larger scale a positive way mm -hmm. and even um Although prior to the breakfast that we always have, um, I started out in leadership Macosta, which was wonderful for me because I probably, well, you know, you lived here less, I've only been just four years, but it was wonderful to learn about the community and all of the organizations that we have in place. And I remember, you know, each time I would attend leadership Macosta, it was a wonderful thing. Um, it wasn't just about the networking for me, it was learning about the community and the needs there, the poverty initiative, you know, and, um, you know, that got us to thinking. And so when we got together for breakfast, we would start saying, you know, I want to make a difference too. What can we do? We've got the time. Um, we've got the passion. And Joni says, I want to do something with kids. And we said, yeah, let's do something. And so it just, we all kind of said, yeah, let's do that. And, and there wasn't anything like that in this area with um, food going home with kids. You know, at school, they, get, they would get fed during school. Um, but nothing that went home with them either daily or on the weekend. So we just felt it was an area that we could probably do something about it. And um, we did a lot of research and talked to people and talked to a lot of people who were involved with the families and the kids and the students that would benefit from this. And they jumped on board and told us it was a great idea and gave us a lot of encouragement and motivation. Yeah. And direction mm -hmm. sometimes. A lot of direction, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And kind of expanding on that, how do you think... Uh, why is it that things progress so quickly? I mean, you guys really, I think, I think you said April is when you, mm -hmm. you really came up with the idea and really got started. And mm -hmm. I mean, just from there, it's just been gangbusters. Desire. Desire. Passion. I think that when you're very passionate about something and you put your mind to do something, you have a desire to make it happen, it can happen. And I also feel that we were led to do this, and I think that that is a true testament of why it's 
it's going like gangbusters like it is because when we decided on Angels of Action on the name of it, um, a lot of organizations that do this across the country have backpack in the name of their program, and we chose not to do that because we chose that the backpack blessings this initiative would be probably one of maybe many that we might do. A branch of it. Yeah. We yeah. don't know what else is coming, but we feel like there's there's other things that we might be able to do after this has, you know, taken off and soared and um, we're helping kids and you know we're just our, getting started. Yeah, we're just getting the journey's just begun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot to do. Yes. <laughs> and so why choose um, backpack blessings as your as your first in, endeavor? A lot of it has to do with the stories we heard. Yeah, about the, and, and being that Macosta is one of the poorest country, counties in the state, um, the kids truly, that's the one thing that was my kind of mission. I wanted to help kids in some way, shape, or form. They don't seem to have a voice, and there's a lot of agencies to help families, and that's really good, but this truly is something that's going directly to the child, and it's for that child. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's what makes a difference for us, that we can also bridge a gap between other agencies that um, are giving food to the whole family. This is directly, just directed right at the child. I think a lot of people support it, and, and you know, they see the need, and these are kids that are in our local schools, and when they donate money, when they donate food, you know, it goes right towards purchasing the food and it goes right towards the kids. So, you know, we don't have a lot of expenses, you know, right now we have a lot of people that volunteered their time and you know we have the transition center of course that is doing all the packing for us and letting us keep our food here so we have you know our expenses are really low so you know the money goes directly towards the kids and they're getting the food on the weekends and they're enjoying it from what we've heard. Well what's been um, the response you guys have heard from from the kids receiving these meals from you know the the parents of those kids mm -hmm. and there's <laughs> <laughs> so many um, I heard one, um, I think from uh, one school, and it was that um, one of the, that was a single mom, but they had just lost the father that um, year before, and she told the secretary of the school what a difference it made. Um, you know, that little bit of food over the weekend really made a difference in her family. They were struggling, um, things like that warm your heart. Or a child that's afraid um, to miss school on Friday because he doesn't want to miss you know, the, the food that's being delivered, and we've had that happen. He was going to be sick on Friday, and he oh, wanted sick. to go to school because he wanted to get the bag of food. So he would have gotten money, yeah. you know, but not knowing right. that. Right, but not knowing that. Or, or the ones that, uh, you know, come with the bag, and they're all excited, and, you know, they want to know who, who gave this to us, where did this come from, and how the week before it had microwave popcorn in it, and <laughs> they've never had, you know, they never get microwave popcorn at home, so it was a real oh, treat yeah. for them, and just the excitement for them to, to have something, you know, that we all think is pretty simple, you know, it could be kind of a simple thing, but it really it bring, makes them happy, and it brings excitement to them, and so, it, it does help alleviate the parents, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a little bit of pressure you know, off of the parents, I think, for the weekend, knowing that there is something there, a couple meals, a couple snacks, a couple drinks, you know, for their child, or, you know, if it's a box of macaroni and cheese, it'll feed four of the kids, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So this has been a labor of love for the three of you for the nearly a year now. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you had to overcome, you know, to, to get this program up and running? Um... <laughs> Well, let's start with, well, what is a 501c3? Yeah. <laughs> How do you do a grant? We've never yeah. filled out what? 501c3 paperwork right. before. We never, you know, have done a grant. You know, we never filled out grants before. Um, you know, I, none of, I mean, we've all been involved and we've all donated our time and have volunteered, but we've never, you know, done our own thing. So I think that um, there's been a lot of obstacles or challenges, so to speak, but I think what has happened as, as we could have sat back in the very beginning and probably taken this year to develop all of that, instead we said, let's just do it, and as the obstacles or the challenges come mm -hmm. towards us, we'll deal with them, we'll make it work, mm -hmm. and we'll move forward. And that's truly what happened, because we could have back in April sat for another, these last yeah. few months, and said, okay, what if we don't have a building? And what if no one helps us pack right. all these backpacks? How are we gonna and how are we going to transport them? And you could sit there all day, and I think that makes that's what's the difference. We just decided, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. And starting out, you know, we had a goal of the number of kids we wanted to serve, and we had a monetary amount that we wanted to raise. And when our 
you know, we didn't get the funds and the monetary amounts that we wanted to start the program. We started with a smaller number, which is fine because, like we said, we kind of worked out some of the kinks mm -hmm. with the program along the way. And um, But now, due to Match Day and our grant and all of the other donations we've been getting in, we did meet our goal, which is what we set you know, back, in, <laughs> back in April. Yes. So, um, you know, we definitely want to expand. We, we, know, we know there's more kids that need food and want food. So, you know, we definitely are looking forward to, you know, to next school year mm -hmm. to branching out either, either to outlying areas, um, but also, you know, adding more kids within, you know, Big Rapids area. More than one person that all work together and they all work on one thing. What do we call them? A team. A team. Don't they look like a great team? <laughs> they look like a good team. Absolutely. And they did a really cool project and they're going to keep doing that project and as I understand, they're going to try to help even more kids next year. Isn't that cool? We all decided that kids need some help sometimes, don't they? You yeah. betcha. So, what do we say to people who do nice things in our community? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Have a round of applause, guys. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Um, are you guys, you guys are um, give us the food that we get um, in our lockers at Brookside. What's your reaction to all this? Obviously, we're all surprised. Shocked, surprised. Honored. Surprised. Still. 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 How quick, how much of an impact it would make so soon, right away. I mean, it just I'm thankful that it is. And hearing, you know, in the classroom we were just in, a couple of the kids talking about that. That's my bag. I get. I haven't eaten all the food from my last bag. Or it's my Friday surprise. Yeah. Wait for Fridays surprise. because that's when they get the food. That yeah. really touches your heart, and I'm glad to be a part of that. Definitely want to do more. So before this, you had never, never gone into the classrooms to like even, no, we, even see the kids no, that may benefit from it. That's the first time we've ever known of anyone who's receiving it. Okay. We've known stories, but never put, gotten to see a face. Okay. Does that make it more, more, more real for you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to hear the kids and to hear their reaction and to hear what they have to say about it. Yeah. You know, you're doing a good thing. Everybody, we're doing a good thing. Everybody's been helping. And, and the fact that we have many angels. Yes, that all the people that have donated to us and the food and the help and just the storing of the food, the packing of the food, the and fundraisers. The, the fundraisers drives, going everything. on that we don't even know about now. The MOISD Career Center, the past week and a half, has done a penny war. And it ended yesterday, and I got a phone call, and their goal was $300. And so that's what they wanted to raise for a week and a half of, of getting money. Last um, Friday, they had $450 collected, mm -hmm. but Monday was the end date. So he called me last night, and they collected $1,100. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. $1,100. They didn't know this yet. For Penny oh, Wars. Surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> wow. Yeah, for Penny oh Wars. Gosh. So oh these gosh. are fundraisers that are going around that we don't even aren't initiated by us. These are angels in the community doing this themselves. This award is accepted on behalf of everybody. Every, all the angels that help. Everybody who's helped right. from the beginning, from April and on. Yeah. All the donors. It's on behalf of everybody. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, is there anything you guys want to say to all the, the people out there that will see this online? One, two, three, seven. Thank you for supporting us and believing in us and um, helping us to keep the kids.